it's a bit windy this morning. I hope the video is gonna turn out okay. Currently doing my morning run in Kos, Greece, where we've been holidaying hard for the past five days. We're staying in a really nice hotel. We even have a little private pool with our suite. Oh, it's been delightful. So I've not vlogged this week, but I did get a few clips here and there, which I'm going to play now. So QD holiday montage. And then running wise, after two big weeks, I did 73 kilometers and then 78 kilometers the past couple of weeks. I am on a down week now, which is great because it is so hot. Even early in the morning, I set off just after sunrise. It's already 24, 25 degrees. I wouldn't really see myself do a long run or a really hard workout here. And just like that, we're back in the UK. The weather isn't quite the same. I just got back from my run. I wasn't exactly sweating my face off today. Uh, we've been back for quite a few days after such a nice holiday. Uh, we got back Saturday evening quite late and roughly 12 hours after we got back, Ben raced the Sunday morning. Uh, it was the Shrewsbury 10k, which is quite a hilly course. I also had a race entry just in case I fancied doing it. But Sunday morning, I woke up in no mood to tackle a hilly 10k. No mood at all. So Ben went alone and he actually won the race. He was the Shrewsbury 10k winner for this year. His trophy is right here. Let me show it to you. It is... Quite a nice trophy, isn't it? Um, so we actually have a busy month of racing, the two of us. I don't know, we kind of started booking races and then before we realized it, we, uh, we will be racing back to back weekends pretty much the whole month. Um, so Ben is racing three 10Ks. He's hoping to PB at one of them. Obviously that wasn't going to happen at the Haley Shrewsbury 10K. Uh, and then my first two races of this series will be training races. I just want to get a good effort out of myself and push myself more than if I was doing a regular training session. You're always going to push yourself more when you're in a race than really, you know, at a workout, especially on your own. Um, and I noticed in the past that when I race, I tend to get a little fitness boost out of those races. So that's kind of the aim here. That's what I'm trying to achieve. And my last race of the month could be a PB attempt, uh, but we'll get to it closer to time. We'll just see how I'm feeling then. Uh, the focus right now is on this weekend's race. Ben and I are both doing the Wims 10K organized by Run Northwest. Just doing an easy 30 minute run today with some strides at the end. I've actually had a fairly light week of running, which wasn't originally the plan because if I do a full on taper for my three races this month, then I'm not gonna run a whole lot in July. But because I've been feeling a bit under the weather this week, then the plan was reviewed accordingly and basically all my easy runs were cut a little shorter. So Monday I did an hour easy, just a little over 11K. Tuesday easy 5K. Wednesday evening was the only proper effort of the week. I went to the Shrewsbury Club track session and I had an adapted session for race week. Basically, a bunch of pickups around the track, not even full laps of effort. With the warm up and cool down that was just shy of 11k. And then just an easy 5k Thursday. Yesterday, no running. And this morning, half an hour easy. Including tomorrow, the race, the warm up, the cool down. I don't think I'm even gonna hit 50 kilometers of running for the week where if we had stuck to the plan, I should have been close to 60k. But hey, it was probably best to recover if I wasn't feeling 100%. Right, so here is the course map for Wim's K tomorrow. Looks like the first half of the course is the fastest because it is slightly downhill. And then the most challenging point should be within the eighth kilometer, which has a hill. Yeah, we'll just see how bad it is when we get to it tomorrow. Still not decided on my race shoes. Uh, as always, I still don't know whether I'm going to use my Alpha 5 3s or my Cloud Boom Echo 3s. 
um, I'll decide tomorrow. Although tomorrow morning, I won't have a whole lot of time for those decisions because turns out Winslow is almost 70 miles away from uh, here, from Shrewsbury. So we're going to have to set off fairly early. And <laughs> it is the wrong time of the month for me. Nothing I can do about it anyway. Um, so tomorrow I'm planning on taking my camera with me on the course and hopefully I can film a few clips. Um, so yes, see you tomorrow. the Wimster 10k with a chip time of 39.05. Would I have preferred to run another sub 39? Of course I would have, but that's just all I could do today. In terms of the course, the first half was definitely easier compared to the second half. And you can see on my split that basically until kilometer seven-ish, I was on pace for another sub 39. It wouldn't have been a sub 38.30, wouldn't have been a PB, but a 39 I reckon. Um, and then my lack of hill training started to show. Basically from kilometer seven to kilometer eight, uh, it's pretty much a long steady incline all the way. And that was quite challenging. It's really the type of inclines that I don't like when they feel like they're dragging on and on and on forever. And then you've got a nice downhill and you go straight into the big hill of the course, which is within the eight kilometer. And that one, finished me off and uh, although it wasn't a long one it was quite a steep one and i couldn't quite recover from it but all things considered with how i was feeling today it's a decent result i really pushed myself more than if i had been doing a session on my own it was another good race experience nice to take part in another race from run northwest had been a while since my last one as for ben he finished in 31 23 he was ninth overall only three seconds of his PB. I was kind of hoping to set a new PB today and uh, I was, um, yeah, a few seconds short. So hopefully next week will be his day. It's just a shame that we didn't have the best weather. Basically, we had some rain and it was cloudy and yeah, just not summer weather at all. Um, the only summer inspired element of the day was uh, the medal, which is really nice, shaped in form of a cocktail. And one of Ben's sisters uh, raced this morning, so that was a bit of a family affair. And yeah, after the race, we just drove back to Shrewsbury. We went out for lunch. I found a place where I can have a meat-free roast, which was really nice to have some like proper comfort food after such a rainy morning. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this race recap, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and congrats to everyone who raced at the Wimsor 10K, the London 10K, anywhere. I hope you had a good one and I will see you in the next video, which, if everything goes to plan, should be another race vlog. Bye!